plaintiff, Lashita Munn, says she and the defendant live in the same neighborhood, and their sons do not get along. Lashita claims one time the defendant's son punched her son and stole one of his sneakers, and then he threw a rock at her son and it hit her car, so she's suing. Defendant Erica Wyatt says she doesn't know Lashita, but she does know that she is delusional. Erica insists her son never hit Lashita's son or stole his sneaker, and she claims her son only threw a rock at Lashita's son because he threw a rock first. Erica's countersuing because she believes Lashita vandalized her car. Start with you. First off, I would like to say that I, um, before this whole situation, I had no clue who the defendant was. Um, the situation occurred between my son and her son. And the first incident uh, was a shoe incident. You all stay near each other? Uh, we actually stay in the same neighborhood. Um, but my son came to the house and he was crying and he only had on one shoe and the other shoe was gone and his eye was swollen. And he told me that the other little boy, uh, the defendant's son, uh, punched him in his face because he thought he called him fat. And um, the kids, when I talked to the kids, they said that was not the case. But he punched him in the face, he took his shoe and he threw it on top of someone's house. I went down to the defendant's house and I told her exactly what happened. We were on the same page. She was upset, she told him, she said, why would you do that? Because that's the only little boy that comes and knocks on your door for you to come outside to play. So why would you do that? She said she was going to take care of the situation. I said, all right. I take went back to my house. Take care of it as in what? I'm not sure exactly what she was going to do with him. She said he wasn't allowed to come outside anymore. I know that mm -hmm. for a while. That was the end of the shoe situation. When was that? What month, year? The second situation happened in June, so it was about a month and a half before that. So I want to say maybe... April? Yes. Perhaps. Yes, all right. So Go ahead. in June, it was June 4th uh, for the car incident. My son was outside playing. Again, the same little boy. Um, my son was out there. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but my son comes to the door and he says, Mom, the little boy hit your car with a rock. And I said, who? The same little boy from before, Mom, that I couldn't talk to. So I get up, I go outside, I look at my car, there was a dent, there's a rock beside the truck, and I asked what was going on, and he denied it. So I just he headed down the, uh, the street to go to her house once again to let her know what was going on. She was upset, she was like, okay, I'm on my way down there. She comes outside with a belt, so I didn't know if she was gonna whoop him or not. I just, I let her come down there. The, the lady across the street, who was the grandchildren, she said, um, okay, well, he did admit to it, and he did admit. She saw the vehicle, and she said, okay, well, I'll take care of the damages. That was when we exchanged. You're not exchanged. even telling the whole story. You, you I'll give you a chance. Go ahead. That was when we exchanged numbers. And she said to get the estimate for the vehicle and to let her know. So that's okay. what I was going to do. All right, let me hear from you, ma'am, then I'll get back to you. I don't even know, know this lady. Yeah, she's, she said the same about you. Okay, she's delusional. Um, <laughs> and I say that just because... I mean, I don't even know how she even has my name to even do anything. Um, so you think she has the wrong person? In other words, I, I've never even told her my first and last name for her to I even know, go somewhere. That's what I'm saying. You think she has the wrong person today? I'm just trying to figure out how she knows so much about me. I'm trying to figure okay. out ever since the incident with the kids, I've had poop in front of my in front of my front door on the side of my house. Um, my mail has been missing. Okay. My car window has been smashed in. And we just not too long moved to this neighborhood. So you don't work, really live here? I work there. Uh, okay. I mean, I, li I work from my home and I live and there. it is you? But what I'm saying... And it is you It today? is me. Okay. It is me. <laughs> so I'm not saying it's not me. What I'm saying is I don't know how she knows so much about okay, me. Okay, well, we got to conclude uh, she what knows. I'm I don't know how either. Okay. But she does, so, and long as it's you. Okay, that's and fine. It's, and you do live there. That's fine. All right, let's start that's there. Fine. Have you heard anything about uh, your son throwing shoes uh, of her son? This When she came down to my mm -hmm. house about the rock situation, mm -hmm. she claims that his shoes is missing. Mm -hmm. I asked my son what happened to the shoes. He says, I don't know. We were outside playing football. Her son took his shoes off. I don't know what he did with his shoes. Okay. I'm not responsible for so his shoes. So the first time you heard about it is when... Uh, she came down June for the 4th. rock. Right. He comes and knock on my door, which is her son, asking for my son to come outside. I said, okay, go ahead. Not 10 minutes, she comes knocking on my door about a rock. So mm -hmm. when I get down there, like I said, my son is like, well, he hit me with a rock first. Mm -hmm. So she didn't say anything about it. And I was like, okay, well, you know what? Get an estimate. Let me take a picture. Get an estimate. Bring it to my house. If I'm not home, put it in my mailbox. And, you know, then I'll contact you from there. Here go my number. And, you know, we're going to go from there. She was like, okay. I saw her again that same day up the street at the store. And I went to her truck and I was like, um, make sure you get that estimate for me now. She was like, all right, I got you. And there's a collision place across the street. She never went. Okay, um, let me get back to her about the estimate. Yes. She told you to go and get an estimate. What happened? 
I did go and get the estimate. Um, I had called her and tried to contact her on the 9th of June mm -hmm. after the incident in order to settle it. I left a voicemail telling her, you know what, I understand how it is to be a parent. But how you don't long? Have she's to... saying you, you took too long to get the well, estimate. Well, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm taking you right through. she spent all that money. So why didn't you get your money while she had it? Go ahead. Somebody owe you, you better get it while they got it. I get that. You right? You right. You that. I can tell you You're that right, right now. That should have been the case, but I was trying to, I, to sympathize. Well, I get to so. it when, when I get a chance. No, you better come get this money right now. You don't know where okay. it was headed. Okay. That money might have been to the casino. You took it to the casino? What you no, doing? No, I... I... <laughs> You dress oh, red nice. You went to Saks. No, I went. She I like, actually she laid, went. She I she laid no. today. She oh, got her no. makeup. The, the, no, she I actually went to Saks with your money. Oh, Saks no. got your she, money. She got liposuction. <laughs> no. <laughs> that, like, well, I would tell you where's the right estimate. Her money was burning her pocket. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she come to you twice. Give me the estimate. Give me the estimate. Now it's oh, burning. It's burning. All right, the woman said, go get an estimate. How long did it take you? Okay, um, I went on the 23rd, from the 4th to the 23rd. But like I said, um, this is to, to let you know what was going on. I said, how about you just take care of my son's shoes, okay. which I did let her know. I said, just do that instead. That's a big discount, be all right. Uh, because I'm, I'm very understanding. So what happened then? How much were the shoes? She, the shoes were only $55, Joe. Okay. So... Um, That's good. I, I, she didn't I even applaud bring an you. She didn't nothing about shoes. She just All left right, a message and yeah, said, let her talk. Let her talk. What happened? Um, like I said, I, I left her the voicemail. She didn't call me back. Um, I left my number on the voicemail. Nothing. Two days later, on June 11th, she sent a letter to my house saying, Let's see it, please. basically saying to take my vehicle in and get the estimate. So she I'm told just like, you again. Right, again. Go ahead. So I found a place where I thought she was talking about, and I text her and I said, you know, where is the place? You know, I, I can't find it. You're giving people too many problems to, to pay you <laughs> your money. She does say, I wanted to tell you that there's a place that you can fix your car, right? She had every intention of paying. Why you change up, ma'am? You were being was, very I, uh, no, that, honorable in, the, in this stuff. When I wrote that letter, I was, it was the night before I was going to Dominican Republic to have surgery. Mm -hmm. So I had my husband um, tell my son to take it down to her okay. house. Because but my I was point no is, you in essence are admitting that you told her you would pay for it because you told her to go and get an estimate on at because, least three occasions. Okay, this was June 4th when it happened. Mm -hmm. I told her at that time. She never went. I All went right, so on... So what are you saying? You changed your mind? No, What's your I, defense I, today? she never came. She never came But back. she's here today. Because when I got back... <laughs> when I got back from Dominican Republic... Why won't you pay her now? She left a message saying, buy shoes. She said, don't worry about it. And you didn't do it. Like I told her, I just got home. I just had surgery. Uh, you've been home for a while now. No, I Did had you not. get the she shoes? She came right after that. There was a message saying, buy shoes. I understand that. And so okay. why haven't you bought the shoes I... in several because months? Because she came to my door after that asking me for money for a car. Had you told her yes to the shoes? I had even, I had just got home, so I said... When Whenever I, you got the message, did you say yes to the shoes? I, I, I was going, I hadn't even got to her. So, I know. So, you never said yes to the shoes. I never so got back to her. So, that was an offer to settle. You never agreed to the settlement, so she's able to go back to the original claim. Your counterclaim for 1000 How does she owe you, ma'am? My, my car window is, was bashed out. She follows me around. When was it bashed? This was bashed three days after she brought the cops to my house. How do you know it was her? What evidence I do you was, have? I was sitting in the uh, restaurant, and um, I saw her car circling, circling, circling the perimeter. And I kept saying, well, why is this car circling? And I realized it was her because, you know, her car looks like a, okay, a, like and then a what Flintstone did you see? truck. Okay, I went inside of the restaurant. When I came out of the restaurant, it was bashed open. Mm -hmm. I was immediately upset. Did you contact her? I did not contact you go to the her. Police. I, the police was already outside. Somebody had mm -hmm. already said that they saw somebody um, hit my window, and mm -hmm. so when I came out, they already knew who I was. I was like, "What's going on?" They he didn't like, talk to the police. He said they just came and and, and just reported it. They reported right. the situation. That's talking to the police. So that's the only evidence you have the is somebody's that statement that you can't show me. My, my son, her son told my, had admitted it to my son. Why are you son. changing that? Did your son this admit you know anything? This your was Your claim is dismissed. I don't believe anything okay. you're saying. That's fine. I believe everything you're saying. Yes, and you provided evidence where she agreed to pay. Her only defense is today is you didn't come get your money soon enough. <laughs> and her other defense was even though she didn't agree to the settlement, 
When you offered to settle for gym shoes, she heard the message, but she never got to you to say yes. So if someone doesn't agree to the settlement, then you have a right to go back to the original claim, which is what you're doing today. And I'm granting you that original claim of $1,500 for the car damages she admits in the gym shoes. Have a good day. Yours is dismissed, man. Thank you. Judge, he ruled right. <laughs> Glad he saw that I was telling the truth, and that's just the end of it. It's over. I just think the situation, it was unfair. You know, um, she has a mini dents on her car, and she just, you know, blamed everything on, her, on my son, and it was just really not fair that her son can just come outside and attack people, and then when he gets attacked back and people try to defend themselves, you know, um, now they want to sue you.